sentence right here. They can type 300 words per minute. That's crazy. These are called steno keyboards made for courtroom writers so they can type super fast while people argue in court. Apparently, using one is like learning a whole new language. But I wonder how fast I can type with this keyboard if I gave it two whole days. I don't know, but let's do it! Here it is! It's different than an actual steno keyboard because it's made with mechanical switches. Normal steno keyboards come with these paddle looking things. The shape, it's so strange! Why isn't it symmetrical? Why are there birds? Let's do my first typing test with this thing. Nothing's coming out. It doesn't work. I had to install the software first. It's through this website called Plover. Good thing there's guides for this. Once that was installed, I tried typing on it and I realized the output was nothing but gibberish. Steno keyboards use a completely different style of typing. Instead of typing out letters, you're typing out syllables and words. Which really messed with my brain. So in a way, it's more like playing the guitar than typing on an actual keyboard. So for a one word syllable like hug, instead of typing the letters H, U, and G, you press all three at once, like a chord. The chord system lets you type extremely fast when you learn it. But this learning curve is steep. It's draining time. I just had lunch and I'm back at practicing now. I still have no idea what I'm doing, but at least I know where all the keys are with a little bit of cheating. I've been using this program called Typey Type. I'm still pretty basic right now. It's been three-ish hours, pretty overwhelmed still. I can't even go on Amazon right now, it's crazy. Okay, quick update. I've been practicing for five hours now and I'm tired. My keycap legends are starting to wear out. Oh, they're so ugly. I think it's time to find a new keycap set to replace them. I've got these whale PBT keycaps here from Kinetic Labs. These are gonna be perfect. I'm done. Obviously the legends are nothing that they should be, but it looks cool and it feels better. I also decided to make a cool custom coil cable from today's sponsor, Cable Mod. This one is white and rose gold with a really cool aviator in between. And I made this one in like two minutes using their configurator. I also made a really weird one that I can't wait to show you. We just need to go into custom keyboard cables so you can basically customize everything. Colors. Very easy making this super pretty cable, but I'm gonna go ahead and make some really weird ones too. Here's my really weird cable. Ooh. There's quality assurance card and it's packed all nice and tight. Here's the first half of my cable. Everything is customized. The anodized tip is super small. You don't have to worry about this tip not fitting. And here's the other end of my cable. This might look weird because this is yellow and that's orange. But I themed it after someone special. Naruto! Doesn't it look perfect? To make your own custom coil cables, you can check out Cable Mod using the first link in the description. Back to the video. Evening update. So I know where all of the letters are in the keyboard, but there's still so many things missing. Like I and M and N? Where are these letters? Unfortunately, I'm not far enough into the learning process to even get to learning that. It's not automatic at all. There's no muscle memory. There's no anything. It's the end of day one. I'm super tired. I'm gonna call it a day. Sleep. Hopefully my brain will actually remember the things that I learned today. The expectations are pretty low, but good night keyboard. <laughs> It is day two. I've got my coffee. I'm gonna turn on my computer and start stenoing. So yesterday, I learned where all the letters of the keyboard are, and today, I'm gonna try to get faster and learn some more vocabulary so maybe I can type out like a sentence or two. There's so many things I can't do yet. I can't even write my own name. What? So yesterday, I went really ham with practicing non-stop and I was super tired at the end of the day. But today, I'm smarter about it. 
I've looked up this thing called Anime Doro, and instead of Pomodoro, like 25 minutes of work, five minutes of rest, Anime Doro is 50 minutes of work, and then 20 minutes of rest in the form of an anime episode. So I'm gonna watch that and then uh, get back to work. New update. It's been two hours and a half since I started today and I got a new PR of 17 words per minute. Easy words only, but still that's progress. And it's with 90% accuracy, so I'm spelling a lot of things correctly. It's just, I get mixed up a lot in my head still. The muscle memory is not quite there yet. It's time for another anime episode. Episode two. Just wanted to provide some updates and talk about what's on my mind before I forget. It's really hard taking a break sometimes and although my brain feels extremely tired, I still feel like there's that addiction there to improve and get better even though I know I should be taking a break. Breaks are extremely important when it comes to learning things but I still want to keep practicing. It's like a strange addiction to getting better at things. So far, I know exactly where each letter is. The hardest word so far is something like worlds, where you have to hold two things on this side and then like a billion things on the right side and my hands doing all this, ugh. And doing things like that a lot is uncomfortable. I'm actually really scared of getting carpal tunnel or some kind of wrist pain. So if you do want to learn steno, I don't recommend going all in on a couple of days. The better way to do it is to take a couple of breaks here and there, do an hour a day, 30 minutes a day even, and then let your body digest everything that you learned, and then the next day it'll be faster and faster and faster. This is just part of my life now. Okay, yesterday I was pretty confident that I would get pretty fast by the end of all this, but today it's looking a little bit disappointing, less than optimal. The fastest I can do is 17 words per minute and that's with really easy words. It's just hard. That was the fastest typing test of all at 19 words per minute using only words that I've memorized. So far I've typed 149 words without misstrokes and I'm 1% of the way there to 10,000 words. I've memorized 26 words and the rest I make mistakes here and there. It's not too bad. I can't use it in real life yet, but maybe someday or not. It's currently 7.30 p.m. This is the final stretch, like 30 more minutes. I'll see how fast I can get and after this I am done. My brain is... <laughs> it's been the final 30 minutes and the fastest I can do is 18 words per minute or 19. But I'm going to give it one more typing test and then that is it. The end.